So, hi there everybody. Time for me to comment on your comments. And we're going to start with AA, who says thank you for the last set of comments. And Jorge Luis says Russia will win. Well, um, this is a war. And in wars, nobody wins. But, well, that's your opinion. And Sheed, my pleasure, Sheed. No problem. And please again tell the... tell. Please tell again, please would you tell us again the difference between purpose. So the purpose of something is what it's used for. Yeah? Um, what is your purpose in doing that? What is the reasoning? What, what do you hope to achieve? A target, this is what you're aiming for, particularly when you're shooting. But your target... Um, I think maybe you have targets, you need to meet sales targets or things like that. I think a goal, your goal is your um, the, the what you want overall. I think maybe you've got various targets on the way to your goal. I think an ambition, um, an ambition is what you would like, is what you want to become. It's my ambition to become a space astronaut. And then objective. I guess the objective is the thing you're looking at. And maybe if you're um, walking, your objective is the place where you end up. Yeah. So the reason behind doing something. And your aim. Yeah, your aim is <laughs> uh, what you are trying to do, where you're trying to get. All of these words, though, are very, very close. So watch the video link that I've given you here. So, um, 33 Nick Hill. Great to see you, 33. And Patricia, break, an, break a leg and an arm, but don't, don't break your back. Absolutely. Okay, good, some clouds. And VG gives his appreciation. And so does P. Um, P, could you possibly read Richard Corey, the classic version and the modern one, and the gunshot with the gunshot at the end? Please, 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 please. And if, too, thank you. OK, um, I've actually noted it down, P, and I will do so. One of the things I'm happy to discover with this poem is it's out of copyright, so I'm not going to get in trouble over that. So I will do it because it's easy and it won't take me very long. OK, and cuarenta. Ha, as far as I think, the joke is around the last line. I hate it. Well, let's see. I was wondering about my, the, the fact that I put the word jokes here with this. I'm joking the whole way through. I'm, I'm just making fun of the British and saying that if you hear British people say things, you need to interpret what they're going to say. And, well, I'm, I'm maybe la la laughing at my nation. So, Glassudine, hi Glass. The two mile stretch of road. So the stretch, a length. Yeah, a stretch is a length. So they were running round the track and they came into the home stretch, the last piece. So a stretch is a piece of road, normally between two corners. Yeah, it's the, a long piece that you can see. So, thank you, Glass. And P, great to see you. Born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Yeah. Well, don't we wish. What does intone mean? So, to intone is the, is, it's linked to this word intonation. So, you could intone aggressively. It's how you say something. It's not the content of what you say, but how you say it. So, you could say it angrily, or you could say it ha, ha. Uh, 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 happily or unsurely, yeah, and this is the way of in, in to, to intone. It's from intonation, yeah, um, where you put the stress on the words, yeah, um, the intonation of a word, yeah, is getting the right stress. So advertisers or advertisements, they have different intonations. So, thank you, Glass. And P. Hi, P. You could have said when people are in a frenzy, they go off at half cock. Absolutely. <laughs> Very good indeed. <laughs> and get Glass. Haze, mist and fog difference. 
So fog is fog and mist are very similar. I think fog is much thicker than mist. I think fog is also occupies a bigger area, whereas mist maybe they're just bits of it. Um, if there's mist, sometimes you can see through it, but if there's fog, it's much, much, much thicker. And haze, haze is normally to do with heat, a heat haze. Yeah, um, I, I guess you say I wouldn't call fog or mist a haze. Yeah, a haze of smoke. Yeah, it's where you can't see through it very well or it's very hazy. Yeah, it's not very clear. Um, so if there's a haze, it means there's difficulty seeing through it. There's something in the way. Whereas mist and fog are both the results of clouds coming down to ground level. OK, and P. Hey, I found your explanation real funny, but I'm still confused. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. You can do the small thing, but not necessarily the big thing. Huh. You can do the big thing and be totally incompetent with the, with the little one. OK, the way I've expressed myself is total rubbish. So, you can't do the big thing and you can't do the small thing. But notice, um, I can't do the big thing, uh, much less I can't do the small thing. I can't do the small thing, much less I can't do the big thing. You can, u you can use this much less or this let alone, I should be saying let alone much less, um, both ways. You can put the big thing at the beginning that you can't do and the little thing that you can't do at the end. Or you can put the little thing you can't do at the beginning and the big thing you can't do at the end. Yeah. So I can't walk, let alone run, or I can't run, let alone walk. You can do it both ways. So I hope that's better. And Ali, I wanted to visit Australia with great alacrity. So you were very keen to do it. Thank you, Ali. I hope you get there. And Ossie, so happy to help. Great to see you. And Shibzada. Hi, Shibzada. Great to see you. Ahan. Being political. Aha. Uh -huh. Being political, huh? OK, I'm just making some jokes. And Ossie, great to see you as well. No problem, Ossie. Great to have you. And let's see, Miriam, you're, a gr you're, you're great explaining. Thank you, Miriam. I'm glad you think so. Very nice of you. And Fluke. Hi there, Fluke. Unfortunately, neither integrity or a shrewd mind is a desideratum for high office these days. <laughs> Lovely word, thanks. OK, that's very funny. This is saying that uh, most of the important politicians are idiots. <laughs> but it's a lovely way of doing it. Sir, what does blades of grace mean? Mm, Abid. I probably think it's blades of grass, the green stuff that grows on the ground. Blades of grace. Hmm, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe it's um, some literary phrase that someone's used a bid to echo the phrase blades of grass. But as a collocation or an idiom, blades of grace, I don't know it. But maybe it's just a way to refer to grace. Yeah. I'm sorry not to be more help there, Abid. And Nigel. Hi there, Nigel. So the uh, test match is getting a bit uh, more even now. Now, It's hard enough to, to persuade adults to eat sensibly, let alone their children. Good English. Sore throat and strep throat difference. OK, so strep is from the... Is it a virus or a bacteria? I think it's a bacteria. Um, streptococcus. So if you've got streptococcus in your throat, this bacteria, I think it's a bacteria, then you have a sore throat. It's one specific reason for having a sore throat. Whereas you could have a sore throat for millions of other different reasons as well. Yeah, so um, strep throat is a, a, a medical definition, whereas a sore throat is just how you feel. You can have a sore throat from shouting as well, Abid. OK, and Joel Camacho. I can't even learn one language, let alone two or three. Good English, Joel. 
And Deborah, hi Deborah. Hello sir, what does peg mean? Ha! Huh. This is a peg, yeah? And you use it to um, attach your washing to the line. <laughs> um, it comes from an idiom, a peg too low. So here, peg is talking about different levels. So um, the volume is a peg too low. A peg is just different levels of something, okay? Yeah, and yes, but peg is a... So, I guess you, you can peg it here, or you could peg it here. To peg, to hold in position as well. Um, I think I've got a, vi a, a video on peg as well. So, let's see. Anderson. Hi, Anderson. I'd like to set, suggest a new video approaching the word appurtenances. Let me write that down. A-P-E-R-T-U-R-N. Appurtenances. Okay. My pleasure. I will, I will see about it. Edifice is a type of watch, though. Okay. Oh, it's a brand. Thank you, Mohammed. And P, six o'clock. It was getting warmer and warmer, and I was beginning to get a headache, so I took a short nap and got a new lease of life. Very good. When I have a nap, it gives me uh, a new lease of life. I, I feel it's a bit like rebooting the computer. And P, his constant support, cheerful optimism and encouragement has given us a new lease of life. Good English. And the two neighbours were at daggers drawn. Both were resolutely, stubbornly, adamantly, stubbornly adamant, that's better, and neither of them refused to budge. Good English. Black and white, two-tone. And Peter, hi Peter, you're my best teacher. I have never seen before. So you're the best teacher I've ever had. Thank you. My pleasure, Peter. And Patricia. I don't know the if the comment disappeared, so here it is. Lovely though, desiderata. I don't agree with everything. Well, could you tweak my comments should they deem fit, and especially so if they lack oomph and pizzazz? The poem was a super idea. Well, it goes with the video desideratum. Okay, um, this this one this comment sounds fine. They're very there's very little in the way of tweaks your stuff needs. But when I do when when I think there's something need, needed, I will I say. So I like your example of responsibility. Also, could you also say contiguous or can yeah contiguous? Very definitely, contiguous is even more formal than to a but. And. Okay, Quarenta, great to see you, and VG, and Manji as well. Okay, great to see all of you. Manji says, nothing to complain about except that one of my cats was run over three days ago. Is in hospital now. Okay, well at least it's, it's alive and still going strong. Yeah, you're great as usual. Thank you, Mustafa, great to see you. And P. Oh, I had my explanation of the intru intrusive R here. <laughs> and I'm thinking of Matahari too, and the cooking. Somehow, I get the different ideas to li <laughs> liaise. Yes, um, I I've definitely got a video about intrusive R's. I'm certain of it. And, okay, Guarenta. She was abashed to realise that the dress she was wearing at the party had a tag on around the collar, and everyone found out that the dress had been bought on sale, as she had told people that it was prohibitively expensive. How embarrassing! Such a wonderful example, says Nitu, and believe me, such things do happen. And Qualenta says, yes, that does happen. I once saw it on Shin Chan. Oh, I love Shin Chan. You might have watched it. His teacher was bragging about her outfit, but everyone saw the tag and found out that it was a steal. <laughs> and Mandy says, lovely example and good vocab, AK. And yeah. Nitu says, oh, Shin Chan, I used to watch when my son was young, and also Doraemon, I love Doraemon as well, and other cartoons, but now we don't. Hilarious programs indeed. <laughs> yes, Shin Chan and his family. So, that's great to have all of you. And Yo VG, great to see you. And hi VG, and hi AA, great to see you as well. 
And Ham, thank you and you too. You have a wonderful weekend too, VG. And Ha, so that's no, it came up. And to AK and to AA. So hi VG, hi AK, hi AA. Okay, and vibes. What's the dif difference between to gnaw and to gnaw on? And gnaw without, ah, uh, gnaw at, gnaw on, gnaw without any pre preposition. Well, I guess you gnaw at a bone. There's some sort of piece of bone. <sighs> I, I, I would say they're all the same, yeah? The dog was gnawing the bone. The dog was gnawing at the bone. The dog was gnawing on the bone. I would say they're all the same vibes. Great to see you. Thank you. And her indelicate question asking me if I were again pregnant, if I were pregnant again, better to put again here, made me feel abashed. Come on, just because someone's a bit fat doesn't mean she's pregnant. Very good, Nito. I love it. <laughs> and Manji's asking if it's true. Thank you. Great to see you, Blue. And VG, so many people have been trying to abash me for my lifestyle, my likes, etc. lately, but they're not going to bring me down as I'm much stronger than they think. And if I'm not strong enough, at least I'm trying to be. Whoops, I nearly gave you a down. <laughs> OK, VG, very definitely. Yeah, you are you and nobody else has the right to tell you who to be. You can be yourself. It's the only thing you can be. And VG. Some people on YouTube attempt to abash me for the flag in my username, and since I don't care, I'm not going to remove it, just because they don't like it. Absolutely. You should do... You, you, you need to be yourself, VG, yeah? Um, if other people don't like it, they're the ones with the problem, not you, yeah? You need to just be happy with yourself, and I quite agree with you. Ah, nerd guy. Hi, nerd guy. I abashedly apologise for the furore my words provo provoked. Good English, nerd guy. And VG, John is a very naughty, mischievous boy, and he's never abashed at, by, good, his poor marks. Good English, VG. And cuarenta siete, he abashed the guy by body shaming him. Boof. But later it pricked his conscience and he apologised to him. Yeah, but an apology is not as good as just not doing it in the first place. And great to see you, Blue. Thank you. And knife. I was abashed when I heard that my friend's family are unabashedly proud of their son's accomplishments. Lovely sentence, knife. It works very nicely. I quite agree, Manji. Thank you. Thank you for um, encouraging knife because his English is quite good, but I get I have a feeling he's a bit worried about it. And VG, don't worry, you made a mistake. That's OK. You didn't intend to do it. There's no need to feel abashed at it. But remember one thing. To err once is human. To err twice is careless. That's a very good one, VG. I quite agree with Manji. By the way, in my language, we say the above expression in a few different ways. To err once is human. To err twice is dumbness. To err is human. To persist is the mistake. In the mistake is dumbness. To err is human, to err twice is dumbness, to err thrice is an option of one's free spontaneous will. <laughs> Those are very good, VG. I love them. Thank you. <laughs> Those are very good indeed. And AA. She didn't utter a word. However, I could infer that she looked slightly abashed in my presence. Good English, AA. And AA again. The local authority should be abashed at the condition of the roads in the town. Good work, AA. And Manneking, there are a desiderata of employees. Ha, money is a desideratum. My desira desiderata is a must. My desirata, desiderata for being an avaricious person is to become rich. OK, I guess. Well done, Manneking. And she abashed my boyfriend, her boyfriend. She likes to abash people. Good English manner. And AA. Those who prefer showing signs of affluence usually live in unabashed luxury, looking down on others. Good English, AA. Well done. And Nitu. She felt abashed after uttering caustic words to her friend. 
She did apologise, but can her friend forget everything and forgive her? Probably not, because they have hurt feelings. And those bitter words are inscribed on her hurt heart. I like this hurt heart already. Uh, and no further effort can soothe the heart or efface those sorry those words whatsoever i like i like the alliteration in this yeah this hurt heart have hurt yeah i, I think it's quite nice well done nitu so poignant a comment nitu brilliant i love this so poignant a comment with the a i love you using this construction manji true this incident teaches one to be mindful of speaking anything of saying anything or saying e saying things when they are angry good with the use of they one and they i like that need to don't do something permanently stupid just because you're temporarily upset read this line somewhere perfectly fits here read this line somewhere okay very good i like it uh, it's a very good line don't do something permanently stupid because you're temporarily upset it's very very good indeed and Zara, hi Zara. Hi, I came back. I'm abashed for my results of the Yelts. That overall was 5.5, but I need 6, so I should not be abashed. Every mistake is an opportunity to learn. I love that. That's brilliant. That's my one of my mottos. 5.5 is not so bad, Zara. And also, you've now got experience in the exam next time it'll be much easier you see you are you're very close indeed so you probably got sixes in, mo in, mo in sixes or better in various different um sections keep at it you'll get there zara and Sheed, first of all i'd like to thank you for your tremendous way of teaching i do think you're an aston an astonishing and awesome teacher. I'm learning so much watching your daily vid videos. You literally make my day every single day. Second of, second of all, one of my character traits is to be shy and easily abashed. But I am perse a persevering person too. I never give up. Good. Both, I do, I do my way and at my pace. Absolutely. Once again, thank you very much, sir, for what you are daily doing, what you are doing daily. Hats off, hat off. It works hat off as well. And to finish up, I'd like to add a quote from the great Socrates. Falling down is not a failure. Failure comes where you stay where you have fallen. I love the quotation. <laughs> yes, get up and do, and do it again. I get knocked down. I get up again. They're never gonna keep me down. Yeah. So AA, that's Temple Tudor, I think. So hi AA. His unassuming reference never lets him make any caustic remarks, although many people consider him to be consider him to be a cut above the rest and claim that he can be unabashed about his achievements. He isn't keen on bragging about them. Good work, AA. So consider him to be i i consider you to be uh, a good student and vg hi vg you should be abashed by what you said to the other girls you really offended them good work vg huh. was abash astonished by his actions huh. i guess so okay you could have it as a name i often say to my friends not to be bashful about telling me what is happening huh. That's good, VG. And sometimes I feel bashful when someone compliments me. Okay, well, no, no need to feel bashful. You, you are who you are. And he abashedly came up to me and apologised for nearly ruining my presentation during the history class. Good English. He unabashedly made a face and stuck his tongue out at us before leaving the classroom. Good. You can clearly see that he's totally unabashed at by what he did today. Good. He tried to abash the bashful boy who had never done anything to him. Good again, VG. And Falern, hi there, Falern. It would have been the the most e expedient for the family to keep the information about their child's failing of exams 
about their child's failing of exams. Yeah, it works. Uh, among themselves, to themselves. The news should have not gone anywhere outside their house until one of their neighbours found it out by eavesdropping on their conversations and circulated the rumour around the whole neighbourhood. Good, well done, good English, well, good example of expedient for learn. The only desideratum of, of my boyfriend is being more generous. Okay, I have a feeling that Let's see. My only desideratum for my boyfriend is that he be, or is that he is, more generous. OK, VG, I think you got this. This is great. Hey, I hate it. Really killed me in the end. OK, but the British are like this. It's funny, but it's true. And Manji, the millionaire was dumbfounded when his son, a budding engineer, unabashedly refused to accept his money to fund his dream project. Good English, Manji. Hi, Alex. I know of the unabridged version of the Oxford English Dictionary, but I think there's a book that has an unabashed version. Ever heard of this? The unabashed version. You see, the unabashed version to me sounds like it's got all the swear words in it as well. I'm pretty sure the full OED has absolutely everything in it. I remember the first time I saw this um, in, I would say, my, in, in my mentor's house. It was maybe f four meters of books in 70 something volumes. Great to see you, Nigel. And P. We were trying to get our cousin to ask the girl out. Don't be shy, we said. At least ask her out for a snack, a coffee. She's very nice, very simple, simple and unsophisticated. And both of you are so accomplished. Don't worry if you spill spaghetti sauce on her dress. She might think it's so charming. Then you can wipe it off. That could be fun. Ever so slowly, but don't pour her. She could tease you, but that's because she's fond of you. If you don't ask her, she will marry some guy she doesn't love, and then both of you will cry, perhaps for the rest of your lives. At least try. Look at the way she looks at you, talks about you. Oh, damn, damn, whatever can we do to convince you, you silly boy? <laughs> I love this little, this little dialogue. This reminds me of Joyce Grenfell and Don't Do That, George. See if you can find it. You'll probably find it quite funny. Um, don't do that, George. And it, it's a monologue by an actress called Joyce Grenfell. I'm sure you know her. And VG, person. I'll bear your suggestion in mind. Heh, I'm not going to think about it at all. You must be joking. You've got this fully totally opposite things. That's the point. That's why you need to listen between the lines to British people when they're talking. Sir, bandy about is like saying something in passing. Yeah. For example, if people are bandying about a particular name, it's spreading, not just mentioned. Yes, it's spreading. Also, it's bandy about and around. Yeah, both, exactly. Like monkey around and monkey about. By the way, to monkey around also exists in my language. It's a verb with monkey in it, with the exact meaning, but it's not a phrasal verb. Great. And heh, Timothy. Hi, Timothy. Unabashed. I love the word unabashed. Thank you for sharing. Thanks for watching. Very definitely. And P. Narcissists show no remorse for their behavior and they have no pride, no armor. Proper. Proper is of their own. They assail you with indiscreet questions and unabashedly pry into your private life. These behavioural patterns plus an arsenal, a set of uh, tactics or arms, of gaslighting techniques constitute some of the salient traits of narcissists. Horrible people. I hate them too. And let's refresh. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon after these few extra comments. And let's see what we've got. Okay, here it comes. And okay, we've definitely got several. Ah, oh, just a couple. Yeah, it's an amazing sentence. I quite agree with you. She writes really beautifully, uh, VG. And Manji. It's appalling to see how insouciant people have become. Three days ago, my cat Ludo was run over by a car in my neighborhood. And 
it you can use he or she and sorry you don't, I've said it and is now you haven't put that is now in hospital thank you the driver was not in the least abashed for his deed let alone compunctious dear oh dear <laughs> yeah at least he could have felt bad about it and huh, my pleasure to heart and answer your comments VG and Ronan says great that's brilliant let's give it one more refresh so it's been really good to see all of you um, take care have a really good weekend uh, enjoy yourselves it's uh, wonderful to see all you here and see how, how you get how, how well you all get on with each other and that's it so bye for now